Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. My name is Tamara and this is the Paper and Pen Girl channel. On this channel, we love all things planner related y'all and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Erin Condren 2020-2021 monthly planner. We're also going to be taking a look at the Vision Journal, the Academic Planner, and the academic planner. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you're wanting to take a look at these items, then be sure to keep watching. Okay, everyone. So the amazing folks over at Erin Condren did send me a box with these goodies so that I can review them on the channel for you, give you a first look at them, so you can decide whether you want to add any of these items to your lineup or purchase them as gifts for others. They were sent to me free of cost to share my honest opinion, what I like, maybe possibly what I dislike with you, and possibly some ways that you can utilize them in a different video. <laughs> so without further ado, let's clear the table and get started with item number one. The first item that we have, y'all, I'm so very happy that I got sent this particular item because I am redoing my office area, desk area, filming setup area. I'm redoing all of that. And one of the items I was looking for was a desk pad to go right under my computer so I can have my month at a glance and really and truly just jot down anything that I see that I need to jot down as I'm getting emails that I'm processing coming in, et cetera, without going to my planner. And so I'm so very happy that I was blessed with this item. Let me give you some details about this desk pad. It is a 17 month metallic monthly desk pad. It goes from August, 2020 to December, 2021. It measures 19.25 across in width, and then it also is 12.25, right, in depth. So it's a pretty, pretty good size. You have 387 stickers in the back that we're going to take a look at. And then each month you have a different accent foil color. Now these foil color does match up with the um, monthly colors, Erin Condren's monthly color. So your planner will match with your desk calendar if that's something that you like. I'm a matchy matchy Kurt kind of person, so I like it. And so, oh my God, the foiling is absolutely beautiful on this and it's a really good size. This um, desk pad is $30 and will be available on erincondren.com with most of the other items on the 4th of June on that launch. And so I will share with you what the launch date is for each of the items that we are um, going to have. This is not a new item to Erin Condren. There is the um, older version that finishes December 2020 that's on there right now. So if you want to purchase that, uh, you can do that or wait for this one to launch. And so August we see here is gold. And that's such a beautiful, beautiful gold foil. I love it. September. October. November. December. January. Mm-hmm. February, hot, 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 pink, March, April, silver, May, mm-hmm, this is definitely more of a rose gold, not a copper color, June, very, very hunter, metallic hunter greeny, July, August, Back to September, October, ooh, November, and December. So I'm glad I was able to get this in the shot, y'all, because I was very concerned because of how large it is that I would not be able to get it in here. 
Here we have the sticker sheet in the back of the calendar. So don't forget that you have it in here. I've seen comments where people say, I totally forgot that I had these stickers in the back of the calendar until the calendar was over. And so don't forget you have them in there. Um, one of the accessory item that I was also sent that goes really good with this is the three pack dual tip marker set. Now this is fantastic for folks that like to color code. This three pack is 1050 and the um, desk pad is $30. This is currently available on erinconjuring.com. I will put a link in the description box below. This, this is not available yet, but should be available on June the 4th with the monthly planner launch. And so I will link uh, those down as soon as they launch. I will put a link in the description box down below for the items that are not yet available. This is the 2020-2021 Coiled Monthly Planner, y'all. And there is a change on the inside that I'm excited about that I think you'll be excited about as well. This planner is launching on June the 4th, and I will post a link in the description box down below to the Erin Condren website. If you choose to use that link, it is an affiliate link to place your order. I want to say thank you for that in advance. I will be hosting a giveaway on this channel for folks who use my affiliate link and you'll be able to win an EC gift card so that your monthly planner will be for free. And so go ahead and be sure to use that link, send the link to your friends, let them use it as well, and they can enter that giveaway using their order number. Stay tuned for more details. I'd like to give you some information about the planner before we jump on the inside. This cover is the banana leaf cover. It is the aquamarine and sage color combination. I do have it personalized. You can choose to get that option or leave it blank. Your starting months, you'll be able to get July, August, September, or January. Those are gonna be your four order options. This is the seven by nine size, which is a size of the regular coiled life planner. You will have an option to order the 8.5 by 11 size, which is the size of the teacher planner. And you will also have the binder option that you can order. The binder option will come in layers colorful, layers neutral, or the champagne binders. The coil option, you will have the standard four, black, gold, rose gold, and the platinum. Prices will start at $40 depending on your option and upgrades that you choose um, for this planner. You will be able to add 40 note pages or 80 note pages. You can add lined um, in the binder. I think lined only in the binder, but for everything else, you'll have the productivity and also the dot grid that you can choose from. Don't 100% hold me to that. On a launch day, more specific details, you'll be able to find out on the site. So just keep looking out for that. Now we're gonna jump into the inside because there is a change that is in here that I'm pretty excited about. I'm very happy about it and I hope that you're gonna be happy about it as well. The first thing you'll know on the cover page is that this is no longer the deluxe monthly planner. Um, the older version or current version have deluxe monthly planner this is now just the monthly planner and so um that is a official name change so uh please take take a note <laughs> take a note of that one everything is very similar to the front of the life planners you do have your opening quote page have enough courage to start and enough heart to finish you will have your 18 months at a glance starting July 2020, ending December 2021. You will have your 12 boxes as well for you to do whatever you want to do with. 
you will have a lined note page to start off the month of July with. And every month thereafter, you'll have one. You've got your monthly calendar. The monthly calendar does have the holidays, U.S. holidays already in there for you. You have your productivity page spread. So you have your lined page and you also have this dashboard that you can have for your monthly month at a glance. The exciting part for me is right all up in here. All up in here is the exciting part. Now, pulling back out the previous version or the one that you're currently in and about to uh, do away with because the new new is here, <laughs> that one, when you go to your monthly page, and please note that these had the hexagon on here, you have one, two, three, four note pages, and then you have the note page that goes with the next month. Now, some months have five weeks for those who are using this for budgeting, and they'll go ahead and use this for the fifth week. And so that's how the previous version was. In this version, y'all, there's an option that makes this thing mm, all it for some folks. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight note pages for the one month. There's eight note pages in here and you still get your page for the upcoming month. That's because two extra pages, two extra sheets, okay? Two extra sheets, which equals four pages has been added in here. How, Tamara, how? Well, when um, I got the selection sheet, I was asked if I would like to get additional note pages added. I selected yes. And so when you order 40 additional note pages, they will be dispersed for you within your planner. So if you're using this for budgeting, um, anything that you've been using this for and always needed extra sheets and you've had to uncoil and recoil just to add in the extra note pages, you do not have to do that anymore because EC has listened and when you order that additional note sheet, it will be dispersed for you in here. Now, remember that the 40 pages is actually 20 sheets. So if we're putting two sheets, that's only 10 months. That means two months would be without any note sheets. Not so, y'all. Not so, because EC is the bomb, okay? The best. And so you actually have the same, um, the same amount, eight note sheets, throughout the entire year. I'm going to include in here a flip through of me flipping through every single month, every single page so that you can see that it's a spread up version <laughs> so that you can see and count for yourself as well that all the pages are in this planner. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be, in the great outdoors, forever free. Now we are back at the note section of the planner. You will have a choice between your lined page if you'd like to add the extras. 
you'll be able to have a choice between dot grid and also the productivity layout depending on what you choose or what you like. You're going to get a lot when you order that additional 40 pages or 80 pages in your planner. So I am very excited about this particular change that is in this monthly planner for the year for this upcoming year. You will have in the back behind that your 2022 plan ahead at a glance. You will have your EC stickers as well, two pages of that. You do get your folder still, so none of that changes in the monthly planner. If you're excited about this monthly planner and the changes that are coming up or that have happened in here, be sure to let me know. The next planner that we're going to dig into is the new academic planner, y'all, 2020, 2021. 12 month academic planners. Now this academic planner does not launch until June 11th. So be sure to write that date down in your calendar. The coiled version that we see here starts at $37. But this year, woot woot, Erin Condren is launching the first ever softbound academic planner. I know that y'all are excited. Now, I'm not a academic kind of gal, but I do have children that will be able to utilize these planners. We're gonna flip through the coiled and then we're gonna go through the softbound right after. You will have the same options as you do with your um, coils, with your regular planners. So you can choose between the four colors. This is the mid-century interior, y'all, which is absolutely fabulous. Like this, yes, it doesn't come with the layers like the other planners do. It comes with mid-century circle. And so we see the name page. We see the beautiful mid-century um, design. You've got the July 2020 to December 2021. And then the next page over is a lined note page and then your class schedule page. You've got two of those class set schedule page. It has your semester, the start date, the end date. And so you can use these for two semesters, right? If you need more space, you can always, um, I guess you can put more, you know, some information over here and some information over here. So you get extra note sheets. You've got a starting page for the month, just like you do with the monthly planner and the life planner. You got the beautiful August start. So this one um, that I do have starts in August 2020, if you would like that. I will list on the page, on the screen, any additional starting date options that you will have for this planner. So we have our mid-century design. We also have the mid-century over here. So we have a pretty plain monthly calendar. On the left side for the month, you have a monthly overview. What is your goals for your classes? Any special events that's happening in class or even in school and any notes pertaining to that. You have your projects and exam pages. So what is the description of it? your class and any details you have a deadline any important dates and you can check it off if you've completed that so you have four options for that here and then you go into your weekly layout the weekly layout has one two three four five six seven okay so we've got eight lines we've got eight lines and it's broken up into three different sections you can put your action items, your to-dos, your task list. You can write out some descriptions here. You can write out any homework that you might have gotten. Um, you know, you can use this section for any highlights of the day, whatever you want to do for your academic. If you're an academic person, let me know how you use this planner. I do know that there are folks that use this for other purposes other than as an academic planner. So let me know how you utilize this. You do have Saturday and Sunday listed on here with two boxes, which pretty much equals half 
of the regular um, daily box. And that goes on like that throughout the entire planner. At the very back of the month, you do get one, two, three, four pages. And so we're back now to your page that goes along with the next month. And this purple is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. I love that. So you have your holidays that are already marked out for the month. And it just repeats all the way over just like that to the end of the month. Now we're going to go to the back of this planner. And I'll share with you the back. Okay, so when the month finishes, one, two, three, four, and you have your stickers. Now, this does have an option for you to add note pages here. You can add 40 lined pages to the back of this, and that's an option that can be done for the first time. So, y'all, Erin Condren is really stepping up um, the game with giving us the note pages that we need and also placing them where we need them at times as well. So we'll see how this goes for the next year. Let me go ahead and flip through the uh, softbound for you. So here is the softbound version of the planner. This softbound version, y'all, oh my goodness. It is, I love it, I love it. I will place the measurement of this softbound planner for you on the screen. It does also come in the mid-century circle. It is a 12-month option. And y'all, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. This is the 80-pound uh, Mohawk paper. So it is the same paper that you get inside of the Life Planner. And look how pretty that is. I mean, just look how pretty that is. It has the same exact layout as the coiled academic. So you have your 2020, 2021, a year at a glance, so 18 months. You have your note page plus your class schedule note page to go with this one. You have your um, note page in front of your month. And then you have your monthly calendar. And you have your class projects and exam and your monthly overview uh, page, goals, events, notes, same exact thing. Got Monday through Friday, have a whole section and then half for Saturday and Sunday. Y'all, this is so cool. It will pretty much lay flat. Just crease your page like that and it will lay flat. So this is great for folks who like that lay flat design. And I'm gonna just flip through the rest of the month. And then here we go to September. In the back, unfortunately, you don't get any stickers <laughs> in here. <laughs> so you do get for, um, July 2021 going into August 2021 by by this time you will already have your new planner and so you've got a note page two three four five six and then that's it at the end so you have six note pages at the back so y'all this is so nice and easy to carry around you can put this in your bag and i think this is someone that um, anyone can use uh, my like i said my son is gonna have this and he's in high school so you know high schoolers can be quite picky but he is okay with this one um for himself so let me know what your thoughts and your comments are on this here the next item that I have in my hand is something that I know that you all are familiar with. And this is the Vision Journal Notebook. This came in one of the, um, the spring, this came in the spring seasonal surprise box as well. 
And I was saying that I really do hope that Erin Condren brings this to the website because um, I really think a lot of people could benefit from this. And y'all, I'm so, so super excited that this has come out. And I'm going to share with you what I'm going to use this for as well. So this is a 7 by 9 It's $21. It is available right now on the Erin Condren website. You will be um, able to pick this up on the website in three colors it comes in the cherry blossom which is what this is gorgeous mid-century circles design on it you can get it in turquoise and also sapphire as well so pick it up in one of those three colors it has a total of 160 pages we're going to go through the pages right now and then i'm going to share with you kind of what we're using it for this is that beautiful uh, turquoise color that you can get. It says, turn your vision into victory. I love that. And that's the same quote that's on the front. And it really does, you know, ask you some easy, some simple questions to help you start planning your vision. Now, what is it a vision for? And you can use this in so many different ways. You don't have to be a... A vision board or you know that kind of person because this is I'm going to use mine in a different way it is undated which is also good this page is asking you to reflect so what has happened in the past six three six nine and twelve months that you are proud of so tell me what's happened and what happened that you're proud of what's happening in your life right now what would you like to improve upon so you can go through these pages to get a better idea to get clear of what it is that's important to you and use this as a guide to achieve it this does give you some directions to go with go along with you can brainstorm on this dot grid sheet here and you have more brainstorming pages then you have create a vision that makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning i love 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 this this is what i need i need the visions that want to make me jump out of my bed in the morning Okay, I definitely want to do that. You get to write your vision and then you get to write out the plan for the vision. And you get, I think it was 36 of these pages inside of this planner. And then you have some lined pages. In addition to the, these lined pages, you also do get in the back some dot grid pages. So whatever your fancy is, you get that. And then in addition to these dot grid pages, you also get some plain page. Um, this is for those that are more artistic and can draw <laughs> in a straight line <laughs> without a line. I can't even draw in a straight line without a line. So you definitely get a lot of pages in the back of this. So here's the plan. I'm actually going to uncoil this and the other one that i got in the seasonal surprise box and i'm going to split up these pages into 12. i'm going to also or maybe a little bit more than 12 depending and then also include some of these note pages and some other note pages that i have i'm going to split this up for each of our family member and so we have five people so we're going to split this up i'm going to order some additional covers so they can have their own coiled uh, vision notebook with their vision page that they can plan out their vision you know get the details of the vision and do 12 of them maybe one a month that they're working on and some additional you know line pages so they can see how the progress that they're making um, my vision that I'm going to be working on is going to mainly be the vision of how I'd like to set my home up. And then after the vision of my home, it's going to be the vision of my wardrobe. So how am I setting up? What's my, like a lookbook for outfits that I really like? What is my taste like? Sometimes our tastes change over time and we're like, I really don't even know what I like right now. Right. But so I can print out outfits that I have like on Pinterest and I can go ahead and put that down. So the next thing that I can actually plan out in here as well is my meals, not really meals or menu planning, but basically what's the vision that I have for a lifestyle change in my eating habits 
that I can actually work with. You know, some give me some pictures that can inspire me in one spot. Maybe, you know, just one or two or three or four easy go-to recipes that I can have. So I'm like, okay, here, here's a month's worth of salad recipes, smoothie recipes. Here's a month's worth of that that you can hold on to. And it's in one place because I do have a vision of a healthier eating habit something that i can maintain period i like lifestyle changes i don't really like diets <laughs> they don't work well for me so things like that is what i really want to do in this for me and then i'll work with you know the family and the family can say what is it that you want i mean you can have like your financial vision what's your financial vision in here and the fact that it is not dated that means this I can really and truly make sure that I set my own time frame that I'm working on here and as I accomplish them I can put the results and see the accomplishments that I've done over time instead of being like mm, you can only use it for a year and then you're done or you can only use it for one month and then you're done so i like the fact that this is undated and it is uh it, it doesn't stress me out <laughs> it doesn't stress me out so that's it for this vision journal let me know y'all what items in this uh, release so far that's your favorite i will tell you that there are some covers coming that you're going to want to make sure you leave room in your budget for i'm not sh i'm sure if any of the other planner babes that are doing reviews got any of those covers they might have chosen those but please be sure to watch out for those covers remember Stay tuned for information on the giveaway for those that use my link to place their orders for this new monthly release. There will be so much more items than what we have previewed, and I'm excited to see what Erin Condren has coming out for us. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.